Hello guys, my name is MC Oculus and today I want to show you how to make cars in Kyx Drift Online. Um, I did a video about maybe almost a half a year ago, but there were some things that I told you wrong again and I mean not wrong, but we have now better solutions for this and also there's a lot, a lot, a lot of things that I must tell you about the workshop. Well, we find out that we can create uh, just a cars folder in the uh, KX folder where the XCE is and just put them there and that's it. And we don't need workshop. Blah, blah, blah. So that means we don't need drone grade our game and we don't need yeah, the workshop itself. So yeah, my idea was to just make a new video about that and um, yeah, probably we can do it better. So the first thing we need to talk about is the scaling of the car which I saw many people still make it pretty wrong and they have the destroyers sometimes the models and the position of the car. So first we need a car. This is our car we're working right now and um, we will do everything uh, from paint to working light and to working materials and such so the first step we're gonna do is the scaling it's really important that's the first thing we need to do the scaling so now the car looks good but it's rotated why i know this because when you press on your numpad one um, or here you have this uh, options to look this and if you click on uh, uh, this button here and the car will look like this but it must be it must show the front so that means that we first rotate the car and make sure if you rotate then press control because it's it's locked and if it's not locked yeah it's it's not it's not good for like straight exp uh, like to have it straight so that's why press control and then it will go automatically straight so yeah now we export it first as any name you want, just SFBX. Don't change anything to these settings. We come to this later. Now we need the XML, which it's um, in my base models. So just copy this base model here and paste it just where your folder is, where you're working on right now. Edit, and then we see this XML list or this code. So yeah, the first thing we need to do is to, to uh, choose the car that we want to add this body kit. So where we find the list, the list we can find in the KX Mod School site. Um, so if you're in our Discord, you just scroll a bit down and then you have a section cars. So now we have Cast tutorials and then a car list. So here we can choose our ID for 
the car that we want to put this mod or body kit. So we want to use the Falcon FC 90s and we just copy the ID. And just paste it in here. The second step we do we need to do is changing the ID. I tell told you about um, how I change the ID, and um, so it don't uh, so it's really important. It should be um, special. So that means like it uh, it's not allowed to repeat this number. So what I do is type the time and the date from the from the day. So that means now it's 14, 27, 21, 3rd, 20, 22. Copy it and then paste it on the raw ID number here. Then make sure that in files, the main file that imports the car is the same name as we exported. We check it now. And as you can see, it has the same name as in the XML. The second step that I want to tell you and inform you is delete this. Um, it sets the height from the car and, but the problem is that when you use modded cars with this number, with this code, the car is starting flipping, but we don't want to have this and it's annoying sometimes. So just remove it. Just leave this number right now and save it. After you saved the car XML, open the game and search for the body kit. So you can see it's still too big. So now what we're gonna do is go to file again, export FBX and type in the scale 0 0.01. It's not not every time the number, so just play it around. But sometimes and most of the times, this is the right scale for every car. Then export. After you change the scale, go to the game again, open the console and type clear cars. Switch the body kits. And now you can see it's almost perfect. After you have the exactly right scale from the car, we added the materials from the car. So the first thing we're going to do is changing the height. We press free on our numpad, press A, make sure everything is selected. And then scale it or move it down. And then type clear cars. Switch the body kits. And now it's perfect. After you separated all windows, make sure that every window for explain the right one calls window underscore right and for the left window underscore left and also for the front and from the back after we call every window to the specific name we check the materials tab as we see it calls generates glass underscore glass, but it should be called only glass. 
So what we're going to do is remove or make a new material. Right now, I use this material and call it glass. Remove the base color and make it black. Scroll down and remove alpha. Go also to the shadings tab and see if there's anything, anything that we don't need. Delete it. So we're done with this. Now we're gonna do glasses that we don't wanna paint. For explain the front lights. We don't it's not important what they're called, but what we need to do is make a new material for it. So what we're gonna do is make or copy the material and rename it to G underscore specific name. I use L. So after we rename it, we scroll down and make the alpha to completely zero. So now we're gonna check the car again. I just open the console, clear cars, select the mod, and now we can see it's transpirated. If you have some bad experience with lighting, just turn off your reshade by having a standard view of the car. So as you can see, it's reflected. And we can also see the lights. Oh, we're gonna do the brake lights. We have here brake lights that are like this. So maybe we can try it out to use them. So what we're gonna do is change the object name to lights underscore real and make sure we change the material name to tail break make sure that the metallic and specular is 1 and the roughness on 0 0.5 as we can see the, it, it's working but we want to have a little bit perfect after we exported and looked in the game we first hide this. Now select the tail lights, go to edit mode and select only the red lights. I recommend to go to face and select each face from every red light. Press Ctrl L and move it a little bit to see if everything is selected. Press, press P and selection. Now copy the object and call it lights rear also. Now we also change the material name to tail break.
we need to do a body kit or a second part of the car. So what we're gonna do is go to export tab, export FBX, make sure select selected object only and then export it. After we exported our light, we need apply it that we can select it. So what we're gonna do is copy a line from the XML channel in our Discord and paste it. Rename the chassis to tailbrake. And the file, what we called. This line is really important. It should be only called in only one XML. So that means that we need a specific name that it's not meshed up with another XML. Just copy the name from the car, type underscore tailbreak for this piece. So if you want to have also a second part where you don't want to have this light, just copy this line, space so it between is clear, change the ID to two, Remove the file and now you have two options with one without tailbrake light and one without. Copy this code, paste it in enabled and type hashtag one. After we change the XML, we need to restart the game. Now select the car again. And now we can see we have a body kit option. As you can see, both lighting brake lights is working. We can also turn it off. So as you can see, our car is not that perfect from the wheelbase. So now we change the wheelbase from the car. So now we change the wheelbase in the XML. It's not every time the same number, but just play it around. This is the front base, where it goes front or back. If the number goes lower, the, no the wheel front wheel goes back, and if it's higher, it goes up. The rear base is opposite side, so if you put the number higher, it goes back, and if it's lower, it goes to front. This is a base front weight, right? If the number goes higher, so right of the wheel base goes outsider, and if it's lower, it goes inside. Also for the rear. Now our car looks perfect. So now we're gonna go to the next step. After we did the real base of the car, we're doing now reflected parts and chrome parts. For explain the tail lights. If you wanna make them reflected, copy the completely tail light, copy them. Make new collection by 
right click, new collection and paste them here to make it more clearly. Now join them together by right click and join. Now it's one object and just remove the material. Because we already have a already reflected glass, we can use this one by selecting this. Now we have reflections on our taillight. To make it more clearly, we can call it ref for reflections. It's not important what the name is, but just for you, if you can find them in anywhere, anymore. Now we jump to the mirrors. Just separate the mirrors itself by selecting the face selection, pressing one face from the mirror and then control L. If it's not perfect, just make it manually by selecting each mirror. If you select everything, press P and selection. Now you have it separated. Move it if you want to the second collection by pressing M and collection two. Now it's in here. Now we need the texture, the diffuse map from KX. You can find the diffuse map in our Discord in the car section in cast textures text channel. Diffuse map. After you install the texture, the diffuse map rename the object misc and the material also misc. Go to base color and change the texture to the diffuse map. Rename the object to misc and the material to misc and apply the diffuse map. We change the position of the UV. As you can see, it's here on the top. Make sure that it's somewhere between here or here for the best experience with mirrors and chrome parts. After we did the mirrors and the reflections, we go to the chassis. It must be one piece, so make sure everything is connected to the body itself. Rename the object to livery and the material to paint. Again, make the metallic and the specular to one and the roughness to 0 0.5. So now we're gonna export out the body only. Go to export and make sure it's again on selected object only. Rename it to body one and just export. Now we're gonna do a second body kit, but with custom paints like liveries or paint and such. We're gonna rename livery to body and export it again. Now we must gonna add a second body kit option. 
make sure if you want to have paint or working paint on your body, make sure that it's called bumper front. It's really important. Also make sure that the tag is also special now. So that means copy your name from the car and add slash underscore after body. Make sure you also add it in enabled. After restart your game, you see it looks kinda that something has changed. Go to body kits and as you can see we have two options for one is colorable and one with flowering. Now we make the dummies. By doing this, install the body, the, our, our base model. I already did this. You can delete every object you see here. And now you have only the dummies. Select the light front underscore root and move it to the back. Now scale it and make it a little bit up. So that for explain the lights front light L is somewhere in the middle from the front light. If you want to add more lights, just copy the object and add more. Now let's talk about the steering wheel route. Just move it to the steering wheel from the car. But the easiest way is going to wireframe and move it to the steering wheel. After you think it's okay, then just scale it down. like this. Just move the shifter route to the middle point of the shifter from the car. If you're happy with this result, just scale it down again. Like this. Now let's jump to driver route and driver as point. So just move them to the seat where the driver must seat. As you can see, we have only one thing to do. It's exhaust one and flame root underscore four. Just move the flame root to nearly to the exhaust. Like this. After you create with the result of the position from the flame root, just select them both and move them to exhaust one. So now the car is almost done. Now, if you want, you can leave the tutorial, or if you still want to know how you can make rotating objects like steering wheel, then still. Uh, stay here. If you want to do working steering wheel, then just rename the steering wheel to steering underscore wheel. Also make sure that the pivot is in the middle of the steering wheel. By doing this, we still have our root, steering wheel root. Just right click, snap, cursor to selection, select the steering wheel, snap, or set origin to origin to cursor. That's the easiest way to set the origin to the steering wheel. We can check it out if it's rotate okay. 
And as you can see, it looks fine. Now we export the steering wheel and import this in 3ds Max. After you open 3ds Max, go to File, Import, Import and search for the steering wheel where you export it. After you found the folder where you export your steering wheel, select the steering wheel, open, scroll down and make sure that from Advantage Options the file units converted to is to set to centimeters. It's really important. When you export your steering wheel in 3ds Max, click on this window here and add effect over it only. As you can see, we have a pivot now. When you want to rotate the pivot, go to this rotate option and rotate it slightly like this. So the blue file is exactly like the steering stick. Now you can just export it. After you exported your string wheel, just add this line. Make sure that the tag still has a special name. So that means copy your car name object and add underscore int. It can be also wheel or something at least. Make sure it's also in the tabs enabled. Hashtag 2022. This is how I do cars and car X. And yeah, um, this is everything I told you. Um, from the car's perspective, I will do a separate video on the rims. But yeah, um, if you have some questions, um, leave or ask, just ask in our Discord. Um, I can also help you uh, with your problems. And yeah. If you want to leave a like on this video and yeah, see ya.